All right, well, Donnie joins. All right, this is Brandon Crone calling the Wednesday, December 13th uh, Public Works Committee uh, to order. It is 5.30. Uh, present in the hall, we have Brandon Crone. Two gun. Oh. Then we have Donnie. You're muted, Donnie. Hello. Hey, Donnie. There we go. We were just saying we were calling the meeting to order. Um, we were just saying we got Chuck, Donnie, Bob, and Amy. Everyone's here. The whole gang's here. So um, do you want to take over, Donnie, or would you like me to continue to run the meeting? You're welcome to if you wish to. Otherwise, I could take over. Uh, yeah, I'll continue since we're um, since uh, we're, we're here. No problem. Um, okay, so public works committee. So I will call the calling the meeting to order. Um, so public works, we will review the November 8th, uh, 2023 public works minutes. Make motion to pass the middle of the minutes as written. I'll second. Second. Oh. Thank you. All right, we have a first and a second on the table. Any comments? No. No. All right. Um, all who approve, say yay. Aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right. He will accept the minutes. Uh, next, we have public comment on agenda items two minutes per person, 14 minutes per topic. Um, does anyone have any public comment? That's us. Now's your chance. Okay. Why don't you slide no. down to, to item A, Brandon? Oh. Okay, it's going to be a group conversation. Oh, this is for the champions? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we will leave public comment open to see if anyone has any public comment, and then we'll bump that up right away, right up here. So, um, gentlemen. We're all here. together. Oh, you're all together. Okay. Uh, anyone online have any public comment? Going once, going twice, public comment is closed. Um, so um, would anyone like to move agenda item 6A? I move that we move up agenda item 6A. Brandon Crone, second. Uh, with the first and second on the table, any discussion? We will move agenda item 6A. Uh, up Point right now, Mr. Chairman, you must call the roll call vote on that. Oh. Roll call. Um, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Or, aye. Aye. All opposed? Mr. Curious. The floor is yours, sir. Okay. Uh, we're proposing that we put a pleasure ring over here between uh, Sportsman's and the tattoo place, about 10 feet from the sidewalk. The rink will be approximately 75 feet by 40 feet running parallel to the sidewalk. Tom has uh, rated that out and he's determined that that's going to be the best place to uh, put the ring so that there's no drainage. I've agreed to uh, maintain the ring so I'll take full responsibility of uh, any maintenance or any problems that there are over there. Tom and Bob have agreed to uh, remove the snow and any light snow, I'll take care of. The flooding, Travis Palil has agreed to uh, do the majority of the flooding at the beginning of the season. When it comes to uh, light snow removal or uh, smaller amounts of flooding, I'll do that. And the water will come from the uh, public library. The public library, Christine Johnson has agreed to uh, let us use the water uh, for people to use the bathroom if need be. I'm gonna pay for the amount of water that's used, any, anything that's above the average uh, monthly consumption of water, I'm gonna pay for that. I have another uh, man, Jake Linder, that's uh, gonna help with uh, maintenance also, if something happens where I can't be there. 
he'll step in and do that. Uh, I think that's it. Are you looking to have hockey players on this, or is it just going to be a skating arena? It could be strictly a pleasure rink. I'd like to throw this into. I maintain the outdoor rink over at the Somerset Youth Hockey Association. So I'm very familiar with this, what it uh, takes to to manage the ice. But uh, no, it's not going to be a hockey rink. You know, certainly kids can have their hockey sticks out there if uh, that happens, you know, just naturally. But uh, the, the real purpose is for people to go out there uh, more like a pleasure rink than a hockey rink. So we, we're not planning on having any boards or really any fence up unless we deem that that's necessary because kids are, are walking out onto the street or something, but we don't see that being a problem. The rink, once it starts snowing, will be a, the perimeter will be a snow bank that'll help keep the water in, help keep cars from driving onto the rink and the kids from walking out into the parking lot and sidewalk and stuff. So how is that going to play out with uh, cars that would be parking uh, in in that lot? Uh, we, will you have that portion like kind of roped off so that there wouldn't be, I'm concerned that, you know, kids are going to be kids and they'll pull their, bring their hockey pucks out and start knocking them around. And pretty soon we're going to have uh, people calling us saying we got dents in our cars. Yeah. If that becomes an issue, then I'll put a snow fence around the uh, ice. Okay. All right. It might be, but, it might be proactive to look at doing that. Uh, Cause that would keep the cars off of it too. Yeah. I thought about that. I just feel like it's going to be a, a little bit of an eyesore out there, but if, if it's uh if that's what it takes to get the ring. Okay. Then I'll, then I'll put it up. Yeah, will there be lights on it? No, we're just going to plan on the residual lights from the street and the businesses over there because we don't, uh, we don't feel like it's, practical to try and put lights in there right now and we also realize that it's probably not going to be there next year if the construction of the business will, starts over there this summer then the rink will be moved either over here on the corner if if we have permission to do that or the village park over there where the carnival usually is during the pea soup days okay I've also uh, agreed to put uh, benches up out there for kids to put their skates on or to sit on. There's also some tables out there by the library. But uh, for now, we're just going to uh, just kind of have the bare minimum, see what's needed. And uh, if, it's, if it's determined that we need to have more benches out there, then I'll make more benches. Well, I know. I, I know I have a couple of uh, uh, actually four uh, picnic tables that uh, can be used at Christ Lutheran Church if you wanted to put them out there, too. I'm all for this. I, I just want I'm concerned about, like I said, uh, um, the parking aspect of it. I, I think having a rink downtown would be a great uh, addition to it. I just I, I would probably think that. Uh, putting some kind of, I know snow fence might look like an eyesore until we can get some banks up there though. But uh, I, I think, it, you know, having that separation would probably be uh, more beneficial. I don't know what you think, Brandon. Yeah, I have a few questions. Um, so we have, like you said, we have a rink up by the high school and we already have, so ice time's not an issue, right? Plenty the kids have plenty of time to skate and stuff like that. Talking about the hockey rink. Yep. High school. No, I'm sorry, the hockey rink. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we already, we're, so ice time is not an issue. Okay. So um, I just want to make sure I want to ask that question. And then the other question I have is um, how married are we to the location? Like you said, you kind of said the, the village park kind of sounded like a location. Um, I actually remember, uh, I'm old enough to remember when I was up at Veterans Park when we had an ice rink um, and there was a warming shack and everything up there. Um, I, and I, we, I, don't, I only think I went up there a couple times, but um, 
I mean, I'm absolutely 100% for it. Um, I don't think the location is the greatest, just with everything going on there. I think if you already are kind of thinking about Village Park, you already have the light there, there's bathrooms there, there's a st there's a spot where you could sell stuff out of if you opened up the side of it. Um, I'm not sure if the bathrooms are running now or not, or if they could be. Um, They're functional. Mm -hmm. So that could even have an area already where we could warn people and make just a lot of less work for for everyone, and it would be a little little safer, and it would be yeah, and it already had a rink, so I mean the grade would probably be good for it. And then there's the sledding hill right there, of course. So we'd also be able to sled and um, skate and do all that right at the same right in park, right in town there. Um, I so, think that the idea of that lot came up because trying to get. Um, traffic downtown to help the businesses downtown mm -hmm. after the whole bridge thing. Um, that it was more visible because as kids go back and forth to school, they see it right there. And some of the comments from the community before were that that never got used in Village Park because nobody knew it was there. Yeah. So well, and I think visibility maybe, thing. Maybe a set, we could put a big sign then. Could you guys be, we could we could make a sign and put it in the park there or narrow or something like that. You know, get it on the Facebook and stuff like that. There's probably new ways to get it out there. You know, I don't remember if there was Facebook <laughs> when we uh, did that. Anyways, um, so I don't. I guess for me, the biggest sticking point is the location. I'm not sold on. I would like to see it in Village Park. Um, I'm kind of excited about having it, uh, you know, where, where they were proposing it uh, to start this year. And I agree that we could probably look at if it gets super utilized, uh, that we could look at moving it to Village Park um, because, because of that. But, uh, you know, baby steps is a, is a, you know, a good way. And I, I did, I hear that too, is that this is the, the spot was definitely an empty spot last year. And, and, uh, having people being able to skate right in the center of town um it'd be something at least to see that it's being utilized for the year as a business owner on main street i will tell you that so many people in our community don't even know we exist and we've been there it'll be nine years next month so i would strongly encourage even if it was for a year if we could get people on main street it would tremendously help the businesses. We suffered through five months of no bridge and, you know, any little bit at this point would make a profound impact yeah. for downtown businesses. And if if it's going to be built on next year, okay, it's a one-year deal. We're not, it's not like we're having to put a bunch of time and effort into making that space utilized for the long term. It's already there. It's already, the ice comes, the ice goes. You move the ice the next year. So the business owner, I would really encourage you guys to look at that. Peak soup days, everything is down there. I we get no extra traffic during those long weekends because they go to peak soup days and they don't come downtown. This would be a good shot in the arm too, I think, uh, for those businesses if uh, they go skating and go and grab a burger at Sportsman's or or go shopping and then go skating or whatever, you know, I mean, I, I, I kind of like the idea. I, I was, I kind of would wish it would be lighted though uh, at night, but I guess we'll have to just see how the, how that, that would all, you know, play out as far as, you know, lighting and stuff like that. Having it lit would be really great because then you're just, you know, showcasing it. Mm -hmm. Bob, yeah. I, I think that you were um, around when the other rink was, at Village Park, do you yep. have some comments? Um, if we get on what you're concerned Yeah, other than it just or... didn't get used. And that's why we quit doing it. Um, we just didn't have anybody. So it was, a, it, they're, they're hard, they're a lot of time. And <clears throat> you're weather dependent. So if it's too cold out, people won't use it. It's too warm out, the ice is garbage. Um, there was always kind of a losing battle. So, and then the fact that people you know, we had one or two people on the weekend use it. We just said to afford the effort to do this. So perhaps being on Main Street is going to get you a better result. I hope it does. Uh, you know, because having the outside rink was nice. This is the fact that nobody would use it. Um, they have the ability to go up to the indoor rink and skate when there's open ice. And I think that's just where a lot of people chose to go. So, but I'm... 
I'm all for trying to get things in there downtown, believe me, on the economic piece of things. So if this helps <coughs> Sharia and it helps some of the other downtown businesses. Sharia, have you talked to Ed or Lucy? Same page. Yeah, they are. I am. Yeah. yeah. What did they say? Ed's, Ed's all for it, and so is Emily, the tattoo lady. Yeah. I talked yeah. to them. I thought Ed was going to be here, actually. Okay. Well, it's kind of nice that the village uh, gives sportsmen a uh, free parking lot. I mean, are you worried about sportsmen parking or what? No, not entirely. No, I think just I people, mean, it's a village lot. People tearing through that lot, I think, is what Donnie was was trying to emphasize was something living in there. And, yeah. I mean, the whole thing could be flooded, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sportsmen ought to be bored. Right. Frank Crow make a motion to um, approve uh, recommendation to the full board for the Somerset Champions ice rink in the downtown um, lot for, for this year. I don't know if I should abstain as being a part of the champions or not, but I second. Uh, Brandon Crone uh, with the first and second. Um, discussion. Uh, any discussion? Yes, I I just, I would uh, strongly suggest that if it is going to be downtown and, and there is going to be parking, whether it be for people to park there and utilize the skating rink or if they, you know, uh, you know, go on the other side parking for uh, the tattoo parlor, I think we should at least get some uh, uh, fencing around it. Um, I, that would be my only, my only addition to this thing. Otherwise I'm in full support. Right. Um, is that something you guys might be able to do? We talking to Bob. Big I'm, talking, I'm, I'm talking to the guys that are offering to put up the snow fence. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Right. Well, it would look nicer with snow banks. But, I mean, if we don't get the snow, I suppose you'll have to put up snow banks. But yeah, we could try doing a the picnic table perimeter around it. So mm. we could find then you could fit and put your tables before they would see the ice. And Actually, that might be kind of nice because then parents put would a wall sit. And you put your skates on there too. Do we have enough picnic tables for uh for yeah. 75 by 40? Yeah, oh no, we just one side. We can just yeah, stay you gotta be able to put it in the corners. Yeah, you okay. gotta get in there. So any further discussion? I have another Actually, question. Actually, that would look way nicer than a fence. I agree. Way nice. Would there be any objection to a fire pit down there? Oh, Wow. Explain the one up top, the one in the top ring. Do we have to okay a fire pit? Does that really have to be okay? Is that I think a it's better than there's, a, there's a motion on the floor. Oh, sorry. Yeah, motion on the floor. Um, we can amend the motion or we can have further discussions on that at, at the full board meeting. <clears throat> um, so uh, first and second uh, are on the floor. Any more, any further comment? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. I'm, Donnie, I'd like to make a motion that we allow a, a fire pit in a safe place uh, at that uh, location by the uh, um, by the uh, um, ice rink. Brandon Crone, second. First and second on the floor. Any comments? You're just that we favorite. just just that we have had uh fire uh pits at every other functions this is something that we've kind of already um had in 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 the past you know when we have stuff like that so i don't think there's any reason or any prohibitions to it yeah i can't think of any ordinances up top of my head so i don't think there's any reason else so, <clears> so um no further comment all in favor all right. aye all opposed motion carries did you get all that for good then? Fire pits. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you. You, know, you can stick around if you'd like.
<laughs> I recommend you don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, moving on to 4A, project updates, general update on active projects. All right. Thank you, Lori. Thanks, Thank Adam. You. You're welcome. Thanks, Thank you. Lori. Thanks, guys. Is this Chuck or yeah. is this okay? I just let you know. People leave so everybody can hear it properly. Thanks, Chuck. Um, so, yeah, good evening, everybody. Uh, let's see, things are slowing down obviously because of uh, the holiday season here. Uh, we have received a revised uh, preliminary plat for Pineville subdivision, and we're currently reviewing that. Um, you know, the first phase is going to be 44 lots, and they'll be up for a, a recommendation at the plan commission meeting in January. So that's kind of the time frame. You know, I should have uh, my comments uh, to Bob for the next week. Sure. Um, make sure I don't forget. Yeah, we should probably get it to Paul as soon as possible if you have any comments. Okay. Um, yeah, the bridge inspection stuff is later in the in the on your agenda. Um, you know, growing wings is just you know basically the electrical hookup, but then that can be finished there once the building's up and running. Um, Curb Street, Spring Street, Main Street. There's you know punch list items there and some pay applications still left. We're still going back and forth on the quantities um, that differences. Um, and I suppose in just uh, River Hills, you know, they there's still some backyard drainage and you know a couple uh couple stones of uh sidewalk that will have to be replaced next year. I don't know if uh there was some talk about doing that backyard drainage yet this year. I don't know. We're kind of running out of yeah. I don't phase. think I don't think that that's going to end up happening. We also have to have a comprehensive plan that we're going to have because that's going to affect multiple lots. Um. And it yeah. seems like every, it seems like every spring, it's been a different situation. So it's kind of been leveling out. The water's been kind of draining a little bit different. So um, there's not, there is one lot there where we're gonna have to do something, but I think it doesn't make sense to do anything now. Yeah. Um, and then WineSap, you know, they they slowly plug it away in that. They were, they're working on doing the drain tile installation. You know, there's drain tile coming off of the of certain catch basins there. And then, uh, you know, Henry mentioned that he's, you know, they're considering a boulder, boulder wall there at the beginning where that big hill is to lessen the impact to the, to the land associated with the school. Um, we haven't seen any plans formally on that yet, and, and there are some details there that will, will need to be discussed. Any movement on the easement, on the drainage easement? Okay. All right. Is that punch so, list items then uh, pretty much down to just waiting for the engineering on uh, and, and uh, plan for what we had talked about prior? Yeah, the drainage. Yeah, and yes. then the wall. Yeah, and then there's, you know, there's a couple other minor things, but they've, they've pulled out the fencing and the snow fence that we wanted gone. You know, they're, they're making progress, let's just say, but be it slow. How much, how much is left on the punch list that we have to worry about? Is there that that can still get accomplished prior to to other individuals being uh, involved, like uh, you know, engineers and such? Well, that, again, that's that's just the uh, the overall, you know, the emergency overflow part, and then the and then that that wall area. That's the two area. That's the two items, Danny. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else? No. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good report. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very detailed. Nice work. All right. We'll move on to 5A unfinished business uh, discussion, possible recommendation, ordinance, future fiber optic. Mm, I have had no, uh, I haven't worked on this. Um, so I'll try and have something by the next meeting. I have talked with, um, I, I did ask Capstone at the last meeting that we we're at, and they're on board with with all that ordinance and all that stuff, which is a good thing. Um, and then the the internet company's on board with it as well. So, so we're um, tabling until January. Yes, 
Um, okay. One slight one update that I do have is it does seem like they are putting fiber optic in in all the neighborhoods now. Bob or um, Whispering Pines, River Hills, River Hills. Yeah. So that kind of bumped up schedule a little bit. I know I had a conversation mm -hmm. with uh, the president over there and Greg, and it said 2026. And yeah, so I think your conversations with them expedited that. They moved it up. Perfect. So that was a good job. Good. All right. Well, just had to say we were going to make our own internet company. Yep. Good. Way to drop the hammer. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Got to do that every once in a while. All right. We're just tabling it then. We'll table 5A. Leave it on for next month. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> uh, 6A, we've already talked about. 6B, uh, bridge inspection report. Chuck, this is you again. Yeah. So this is, a you know, we've included in your packet a memo. You know, this is a every other year type of deal we have to because it's a fracture critical bridge we have to get out there and you know it's a couple you know a couple of items that you know need to be watched um you know that that first item the expansion joint at pair two that was part of the contract for them to clean and spot repair so it's too late in the year for them to do that now so um you know that'll get done this spring uh that spot repair um, you know, and then there's some uh, some minor leaking, and then you know some the, some outside fence repairs that you know will need to be addressed. So it's it's these are items that we'll need to watch. You know, you know none of them are going to require a a major bridge closure. You know, like you know that sort of thing. But so it's just you know with a bridge of that age, you just got things come up. Yeah, know? and this was all stuff that we didn't see before we were working on it. Yeah, or this was exposed after we worked on it after you know after we worked you know in particular you know cleaning the joints and everything else and okay um, kind of you know i mean we knew that. we knew the condition of the fence right i mean plus you know and there's you know but just like anything else you know there's you know things rust and you know, we just need to address them and as they come up and so this you know, is, it's always a balancing act especially when you're getting towards the twilight of the bridge you know is how this, much you want to do when is this something that we can work in with like getting the lull for the inspection? So we have the lull at the same time and we need the, the lull to do that work, or is this just we'd have a completely separate person come in and do this? It would be separate than the um, inspection. Yeah, because the you know, we borrow that that lull from yep. the state or the county. But that's county. just uh just to inspect it, not to actually work on yeah, it. Yeah, just to yeah. inspect it. It's just a state. Yeah. So, yeah, Bob, are you, do you feel comfortable working all of this stuff in over the next few years into the yep. into the plan into the budgets? Yep. Fantastic. Donnie, do you have any questions? I uh, just was anything here. I was reading through on it. Um, uh, I, you got a couple of these that you're looking at uh, working on in in 2024. You said. Well, that that first one, Donnie, is part of the contract with your current contractor. So, so would there be, a, there be retainage left on that until that's completed? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, all right. Okay. The rest of the stuff Bob's got on, a, uh, it will be putting into some kind of a proposal for, you know, uh, getting it worked into the budget then, right? Yep. Okay. I don't want to speak for Bob, but I will. You know, there's every, what is it, every spring and fall, you kind of you clean out joints. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, Bob's looking at the bridge. And so it's just... It'll be one of those ongoing discussions, Donnie, as you know, in the spring and the fall, you know, moving forward. I know I've I've seen where the chain chain. I don't know what the priority is. We could probably you know you can. I'm just saying that there. I've seen the the rusting on where them chain link fence uh, braces have have uh, deteriorated. I'm assuming that's not a a huge cost to get those those things replaced. But uh, you know, I, I I don't know that for a fact. Yeah. I don't know the poor fact either. I mean, I just I think if it's just repairing it and you know adhering it to the concrete, I'm I'm assuming there's a lot of people that can do that work. So I don't think it'll be a major expense, but more worried yeah. about the safety aspect of it of being, you know, somebody pushing through that, you know. Yeah, or Bob's people plowing it. Yeah, or that too. Any other comments on the bridge inspection report? No. All right, we'll move then to 6C, uh, Hydro Court contract. So 
Bob, you're running this one or Chuck running this one? Yeah, I can do this. Um, so this is every two years we uh, renew um, the service with HydroCorp. Um, and what it is is um, we contract out with them to provide our cross connection control, uh, our backflow prevention, all of our inspections and our paperwork that have to go to the state every year. Legally um, required by the DNR. Yeah, we're audited every year on it. Yep. So um, as we grow, it just became increasingly hard to have staff keep up with that, especially with the paperwork that's due because um, it's time consuming. Did this go up at all last year or since the last two percent? No, it, it, 5 it, it did or... a little bit, okay. not a lot. Okay. So um, these are over two years. Um, <clears throat> And what they do is they we have to do a minimum of 10 percent but we want to do more than 10 percent because if we should pretend we will always have people that we can't get in contact with so we'll pass that along so it's actually about 17 percent okay of our residential and then commercial industrial um institutional is every two years okay so okay um, so what's the what's the increase on this one then for the proposed? I I thought this was uh I didn't know this was uh, two years uh, for real. There's 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 an in, there there was an increase. You know it, it wasn't the same. So obviously things cost more than two years ago. Mainly they're probably travel expenses, all that stuff. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> the pricing yeah. proposal here is thirty two thousand four hundred dollars. Yeah, over two years. Okay. Do we have to approve both of them? Or is the 32,000, is that the total of the residential? Yeah, and the, the, the other one is 15,000. We got to do both of them. Okay. Yeah, SMC will take four or five hours to do alone. You know, just, you know, in the house, keep an eye out for The house takes some half an hour to an hour, depending on what we get. So that's really what becomes challenging is adding somebody to do that responsibility yeah i you know i researched backflow a little bit for this and i didn't really know it was a thing and i actually after i read a little bit yeah you don't want any of the bad water getting into the good water and how you clean those pipes and all that that's just a whole heck of a mess that for yeah 50 grand uh, 60 grand out of price you gotta pay right uh brandon crow make a motion to um Make possible recommendation to the full board, uh, the hydro corp contract for residential and commercial residential being, oh wait, residential will be a total of $32,400 and non-residential will be a total of $14,976. Second. For, for, and that's for two years? Correct. Two years. First 24 it is 2024 2025 correct yep okay first and second on the floor any any further comment hearing none all in favor aye, aye. opposed no opposed motion carries uh moving on to 6d discussion possible recommendation main street bridge pay at five so we are looking for your recommendation, and this is for $296,497.47. You know, the original contract was, it is 1.6 million. Uh, work completed to date is 1.583 million. Uh, we do have Donnie $79,000 worth of retainage. Um, and you know, there, there's a little bit of work we talked about before that, you know, some punch list items that they have to finish up. There's some additional hanger support work that's needed because, you know, the pipes fine under normal operating pressures and, you know, they even tested kind of worst case with both, both, uh, both, uh, wells on, mm -hmm. but when we put it under the pressure testing that's required, you know, 150 PSI, um, you know, uh, a couple of joints. But it shifts in the deflection of the pipe. Yeah, it Got just, it. just dripped and leaked a little bit. So how much is the difference between uh, the 150 and the max operating pressure with both wells on? It's the delta. About 
60 pounds. 50 pounds? Okay. So, I mean, it's... That's a pretty good... That's so, pretty good buffer. Yeah. Good control. Yeah. <clears throat> so they, you know, just got to put a couple extra hang... You know, they've, they're have they figuring out what they're going to do. They're not going to do it until next spring. Is that right? Is the retainer sufficient enough to get what needs to be done completed? Certainly. Donnie Kerr, uh, make a motion to approve pay... Donnie Kerr, make a motion to approve pay up number six for the Main Street Bridge uh, improvements to river crossings in the amount $296,497.47. Donnie, it's pay up number five. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you are correct. I apologize. I stand corrected. Pay up number five. Uh, second. First and second on the floor in comments. For further discussion, hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, on to 6E, wastewater treatment facility improvement change order number six. So here's your six, Donnie. Uh, change order number six uh, is for $10,441. It includes uh, several items. Uh, no, most notably, probably the contract extension, substantial completing completion to November 17th, as well as final completion to June of next year. Um, you know, in, the, in, in addition to, you know, for allowing those extensions, they are absorbing roughly $13,000 in, mm -hmm. in, in the change order costs. And, but, the, you know, the remainder 10, is uh, is you know being added to the contract. You still uh, with the change orders to date. Um, you know we're we're still uh, the uh, you know we're ahead of the game so to speak. And uh, uh, so uh, with that being said, I don't know um, if you want me to get into the details of of the other change order items, but you know it was just it looks like it's just lighting, right? The sludge tank, huh? There was some piping as well. Yeah, it was loaded. It was in the wrong place. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Didn't exist. Wrong place. Right. One of those. But you know, we, my our wastewater guys have reviewed it. We they you know run it by Charlie at the DNR, Jim. We figured out the pump, how to get the below the level it needs to get to get everything the pump. Okay. Yeah. Um. I just this is pushed. Minute. This is pushed out until October of uh, uh, substantial completion. Uh, um, oh, it's changed to November seventeenth, two thousand twenty-three. Correct. Okay. Final is next year. So I mean, final is just kind of clean up, and then you know some of these the remaining miscellaneous items. It's substantial is more or less it's running right. Okay. It's operating. Like yeah, it should be. I just have well, one thing just comment on it. I did go down and see the new facility, and from what it was like when I first went down there to what it's like now, it looks like a completely brand new place. So they did a, a, a really good job. Um, no one will ever see it. No one will ever appreciate it because <laughs> it's a food plant, but I appreciate it. So I think they did a really good job. We'll let the contractor know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I uh, yeah, I met with those guys the other day. They did a good job. Oh, that's a good job. Crappy thing to say. No, it is. <laughs> All right. Do we have already been done on this with the grading and such like that? Or, or is that going to be done in a spring? Spring. All right. Anyone care to make a motion? Oh, uh, what do I need to make a motion on here? Change order number six. Four. $10,441. Uh, make a motion to recommend to the village board change order number six for 10441 Is that what you said? Yep. Great. Second. First and second on the floor. Any, any further discussion? You're not uh, on just, oh, just, a, sorry, just a quick question. It said on here, the village summer set on at three thirty, this was this was basically already agreed to as that delays were out of the contractor's control, 
and address per the contract documents. So the reason that the delays were basically out of their control, is that correct? Yeah, well. Yeah, as a result of the pipes not being where they expected them to be. Yeah, there so there's some of that. So, you know. That, Incorrect layout. Yeah, so there was there was some amount of changes there. So, so it's kind of out of their hands. So we understand the pipe, the pipe, it, pipe aspect of it. I get, you know, and I just want to note that some of this stuff was out of, uh, out of their control. That's why we're picking up the additional ten thousand. Yeah, we had trouble yeah. getting some electric too. It's weird those were long. Yeah, I mean, so. basically all of it was out of their control, and that's you know the the twenty three thousand, you know whatever. But they've agreed to pick up thirteen of the twenty three thousand. We got a discount. We got a discount, my guy. Good way, good way to put it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next, 6F, discussion possible recommendation wastewater treatment facility improvements pay up 16. So, this has been reviewed and approved or recommended approval by us, you know, and we've also reviewed the, uh, you know, the their wage submittals and, and the support documentation for it. Uh, the amount of change orders, or excuse me, uh, pay application number 16 is $378,875.77. And Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Make a motion to recommend to the village board for approval. Uh, pay up sixteen. Me three hundred seventy-six thousand eight hundred seventy-five dollars and seventy-seven cents. Three seventy-eight. Three seventy-eight. Oh, sorry. I'll second that. Uh, I didn't bring my glass. First and second. First and second on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Carries. 6G, discussion possible recommendation fund 610 and 620 water sewer, sewer budgets. Anything out of sorts there, Bob? No. Um, Brandon did ask me a question, which I appreciate. Um, whatever lines want to significantly supplies and expense um, transmission and distribution. Um, that that's going up. We're we're combining a lot of different areas into that um, line. So that line up, but then there's that line added one up, but then there's other areas what which went down. That we won't pay out or take out of anymore. So we're balanced. <laughs> so we can be. Oh, we're not balanced. What, <laughs> we where was that one at, Bob? Pardon? Where was that one at? That I had asked about. Yes. It's 641. 610 537 000 641. 610, 641, okay. And then what was the other one I asked on? Probably there was one more. Um, 7, um, I know you had proposed uh, a reduction in the biosolids facility expense by twenty thousand dollars. Is that because of uh, 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 the uh, uh, the uh, bacteria type deal, or, is it, or what, what was the reduction there? <laughs> we're just anticipating that we're going to need less hauling, regardless of the bacteria, because we're able to store more. Okay. So there's not such demand. So we got additional capacity. So that should come down regardless. 
Six fifty two was the other one I asked on maintenance of services. Did you talk about that too? No, <clears throat> that's just um, primarily like water main or water service breaks will come out of that. And we're averaging about four. The cost of those will come up quite a bit. Oh, so it just wasn't. So that, that's the cost to cover four of them. Yeah. So we'll just anticipate four. Hopefully, we get none. Okay. Then certainly hope we don't get six. Those are really the only two significant shifts that I saw in the budget. There's so a $50,000 increase in depreciation expense that was budgeted for under the. Uh, Sewer. I don't know if you want to talk water first and then sewer, or do you want to talk about them both? It doesn't matter to me. But um, I was wondering why that uh, that why that increased I, in twenty twenty two. There was nothing there for depreciation, and now we're up to two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I, it just wasn't it wasn't included on the sheet, and we don't know what the depreciation is going to be until our auditor comes through and actually okay. depreciates those things. So you made it big. Yeah. You guessed big on depreciation. Yeah. Safe. Is it yeah. safer? Yeah. Uh, what are we depreciating at the sewer on the sewer though? Everything. It's the the build the building in itself and all the is that like all the new construction that we did too and everything? Yep. Okay. I mean, I get it. If you stick, you know, almost, you know, millions of dollars into a facility, you're gonna have some depreciation. I get it, you know. Car. And the last question I had, we um, the operator wages, are we mm -hmm. looking under the sewer that went up uh, a little more than 3% of what we had approved for? Uh, are we looking at we're going to need more hours there, more overtime? Is that what we're, we're estimating that? No, so... It's mindful to understand that when we have wages coming out of there, it, it's a mixture of six different people at six different pay rates. So you have an individual that's higher on the pay rate that oh. is taking a bunch of call outs on the weekends, that rate's gonna go up. If we have an entry level person on a, on a lower pay rate, let's say it's gonna be lower so that that line item um constitutes really everybody's all all six or you know the five working in that wastewater treatment plant at any given time so it doesn't just account to a three percent raise across the board it needs to it there factors are there's variations different. and then it's also not you know a 80 hour every two week job so there's overtime that's pumped into that. There's okay. and again, you're just hedging your bets that you, so you'll have enough in the fund to cover the wages. Yeah. So we look at well, I look at the like a three year, five year. Okay, what's what's happened, and then just adjust accordingly, and and, and hope you're close to the end of the year. I was just looking at it. Is that we've seen a six thousand dollar you know increase from the twenty two to twenty three, which was kind of in line with the the uh, you know increases that were approved and then we went you know 18,000 that's why I didn't know if we had to have additional manpower did we not hit our budget for that year or what that we are going up you know, well over 12 percent in that in that area That was all the questions I had. I had reviewed it earlier and everything seems to be in order. We need a motion to recommend Should probably do that then. to the village board on 610 and 620 uh, water and sewer budgets. Right in Chrome second. Any further, uh, first and second on the floor, any further discussion? Quick question, uh, under the uh, sewer hookup and permit fees, in 2023, it was only 25,000. Did we go way over that, that we back up to 60,000? Because in 2022, we're at 70. Is that going to be a fair number there, you think, with all the growth that we're experiencing? What are you looking at there, Donnie? Under, under the sewer utility, it'd be... Uh, 
the 620. Um, maybe I've tracked the line down over it. It's uh, 635, about eight light, uh, line items down, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine loud. The sewer hookup permit yep, fees. Yep. I'm tracking with you. Thank you. What's the question on that? Well, in 2022, we were at 70,000. Then it was dropped to 25,000 in 2023. And now we're back up to 60. And I, isn't it kind of in tune? I mean, we've in 2023, we've seen about 43. Uh, you know, homes, uh, we actually might be a little bit more than that as far as our, imp I'm just based off of what impacts, uh, you know, we see for new houses because that's what regulates that fee, yeah. right? Yeah. So we had the same fee schedule in uh, 2023 um, that we are, um, that we had in 2022. And do you, you know, we're anticipating same similar growth in 2024, or maybe even more. So is that number of 60,000, you know, in line with, I know we're, we're, we're talking about revenue here and it's always an estimate. You'd want to figure a little low, but I, I was just wondering it would went down to 25,000 and come back up to 60 if we're, if we're in line with that. But if you're confident with them numbers, I, I I'm okay with it. Yeah. 2023 was, didn't know it was going to happen. Um, interest rates were going up. I don't know if there'd be a huge lull. So there there was definitely some undervalue there. And then you stand right. You don't ever want to overinflate a revenue source and then it not coming in close to what we anticipated on it. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? With your six fund six ten and six twenty, we'll get moved to village board. All right. Next, six H maintenance on village owned lots at one twenty eight Spring Street and two thirty five Main. Right. I asked to put this on the the agenda because I wanted to have a discussion of whether or not we were going to be, uh, you know maintaining them lots plowing them and stuff like that to allow for additional parking through the winter or if that's going to be a place where we're going to be um just you know um leaving them until a developer purchased them if it makes more sense for us to maintain them or not i didn't know what bob's take would be on something like that but i know we have wheelhouse um over in in one of the lots and now we got a parking lot or we got a um, ice skating rink in the other one um, probably makes sense for us to continue to keep them plowed open. I know last year we had a few on there. Bob, what do you think about that? That's fine. Isn't, isn't Wheelhouse planning to plow on their own? I'm not aware of anything on that. I I have not been informed of anything on that. Somebody told me that. I can't remember who. So yeah. Anyway, if that is the case, if Bob, you'll work with Bob's us. You're going to work with the people on the the rink, and you're going to work with the people at the. It's a good uh, question that we're going to plow Wilhouse's lot or not, or should they be plowing their lot? They don't know. They're have benefiting it. on the lot. But what did we ever did we ever get an agreement with those guys? We do not have an agreement yet. There was there was some discussion about that, but I guess what I was looking at is, uh, um, you know, if we're going to be maintaining them lots or you want to put that on hold until there's an agreement um, made with Wheelhouse. But I, I we also looking at uh, the lot there by uh, where we're having the ice rink. Um, so, I mean, I, if you're OK with keeping that open so for and plowing for parking. And then we can always table or discuss wheelhouses uh, if we don't get an agreement with them. I think they're going to have to plow their own. I mean, we're already being pretty nice to let them stay without them, without having an agreement in place yet. And then have, well, they have insurance, but yeah, I think, I think they should plow. Plow theirs, I would say. I think they're planning to, I don't remember where I heard that. 
Okay. They didn't make it up. But are they going to plow that whole lot, though, or are they just going to plow an in and out? That's a good question, Danny. I'm not sure. We should we should just find out from them. I yeah. mean, if they're if they're willing to plow their their little you know spot that I was referring to is that that could be just as good of a you know is that tree going to come down after Christmas or is that going to stay up through the winter and if, if there's that area could be utilized for parking as well. The tree will come down shortly after the new year. Looks good. They I I agree, hundred percent. I I I would I would like to see if if there is no agreement with Wheelhouse that we um we we have a discussion about that. But if there is an agreement with them, maybe it could be a shared maintenance type deal where they they plow it one time or whatever, or they plow their portion and we plow it. Would, would be nice to have some spot there for additional parking. You want to table? Should we table that till next month's meeting? Maybe, Donnie. Well, we can discuss the we can discuss that that lot next month. Uh, if you're okay yeah. with <clears throat> break them up, yeah, I don't have any. There's no issue with the Benson Archie's lot, but I don't know anybody using the our corner lot wheelhouse for parking. Right. Well, we're also taking seventy five. Uh, by 40 out of that one lot for a skating rink, which some people might be wanting to find additional parking over there. And I was just thinking if we had the space, we could plow it and you, they could utilize it for parking if they, if they needed to. That's a, good, that's a good thought. People are probably going to start parking there once the rink is there. They can park across the street too, here. That gets plowed. Yeah, okay. So we'll agree to plow the the one the ice rink lot the ice rink lot and then we'll circle back on the TBD corner lot yeah. TBD corner lot and we have to but I think it's worthy worthy of just having a discussion I mean if it's yeah, we don't even have an ice rink up yet if it looks like it's something that's needed maybe we can bring it up next month otherwise um, you know we don't have to if if we don't need uh, the uh, additional parking. I mean, uh, you know, we can kind of just look at it next month if you want. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Let's table it. One other thing. Uh, we do use the Benson Archie lot for snow storage in the wintertime. So we do downtown cleanup. That's where snow is pushed. <clears throat> so we would like to main, maintain that practice as long as we can. Otherwise, we're forced to haul snow away. Which is kind of expense. You push oh, it off the off Main Street up into that lot, then. Right. Well, the snow gets too high. We're just gonna have to put it over the rake. Right. So, just I don't know. Maybe you haven't noticed in past years, but yeah, we normally have a big pile of snow there. Yeah. Which maybe it's usually in that north. We shove it all the way back. Corner. Right. As far as we know, when we get stoned. That's right. So, man, that it's going to be 46 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, yeah. How many days would be able to would we even be able to use a rink so far if we had one? Don't get too far off. Okay. All right, all right. Don't get cocky. Last time I said it, it snowed. Don't Remember that? Crazy, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm willing to make a motion that we can uh, uh, at least uh, authorize uh, the maintenance and snow plowing if we get snow uh, for the um, the lot. Um, for Archie's by the skate rink, and we can address the other one until uh, um, when the need arises. Second. First. And if it, what? If it snows between now and then, then what? We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll work as a team. First and second uh, on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Carries. Right now, uh, water sewer, Park Street, stormwater, uh, 2023 budget. Oh, okay. We have to go through these individually, probably. Can we approve the 
um, A through E and go over the budget reports, or do you just want to do them all as one? What's well, your pleasure, Caleb? Yeah. Uh, I make a motion to approve uh, the reports as submitted A through E on the agenda. All right, Brandon Crone, second. Uh, first and second on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? So that's A through E. Um, mm -hmm. Should we go over the 2023 budget reports in further detail? It's here. Yeah. Those are the budget reports. Yeah. yeah. But typically, Bob does his update. Yeah, that covers everything. Okay. Right through it. Good. Ready to do it? Okay. Okay. All right then. Brandon Crow make a motion to approve uh 2023 budget reports. Second. First and second on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none. She carries. Make a motion to approve the bills. As presented, recommend recommend approval of the bills as presented. Second. Second on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none. Motion carries. Uh, nine future agenda items. We got two future agenda items that I see. The one was the uh, the ordinance on uh, fiber optics and, um, and maintenance of uh, the old Sam's lot. I think the um, other thing too, the other thing too that we'd like to see for future agenda items is, uh, is I know the finance committee has approved in the budget uh, uh, the uh, utilization of uh, uh, GPS tracking uh, for the uh, public works uh, vehicles, similar to that of the uh, police and police uh, vehicles. Um, they only approved a portion of it, so we need to. As a committee, need to discuss that or which vehicles we might be looking at utilizing and such like that. So I'd like to get that put on the agenda for next month as well. Yes, you got to make a motion to adjourn. Second. second. I beat you to it. You got it. All right. Here to first and second. Any further discussion? No discussion on that motion, Mr. Chairman. All opposed. Oh. Uh, all in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? No, just aye, right? Adjourned. Sorry. That's okay. You're, you're, I'll bring you along. We'll get all you right. to it. Thanks, Donnie. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. So, I'm curious. What's Close, the process? Uh, meetings over at we'll send letters out. 35. You have copies.